Hello, this is Don Brandt, and today I'm going to show you how to build a precision oscillating steam engine. This is part three of a six part series. We'll bring this up to about eight or nine psi. And there's the steam engine. That's the completed one. That's the one we're building. This engine's for sale on eBay. Check the description for a direct link. So these are the pieces I fashioned. Um, one of my battery was dead. So uh, there's the uh, crank. That's the disc for the crank. There's and, the uh, piston. Here's the piston. And uh, there's a cap. I just machined out a piece of brass round. Okay, so what I've done was scribed a pattern on top of that piece of brass. Uh, you can see the whole thing, but I'm going to go ahead and cut that out on the bandsaw. So here's the rough cut. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, shape it up on the sander now. There's that piece. And this. all going to fit together and be soldered together like this. So I'm going to clean up all the parts and uh, put some flux on them and solder them. What I wanted to show you here is that I flattened this surface up here real quick because this is going to be the valve surface and I did that with the belt sander and a fine uh, grit and just ran it across. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it was uh, concave or curved. So that surface is cleaned up. Now I'm going to wire wheel the other pieces and maybe I'll polish on these edges and kind of clean them up a little bit. Ball peen hammer guys. I'm going to run that on a sander just a little bit more. You can see okay. I kind of, here's the part now. I left that little divot there so I knew it was out and in. This will actually be the valve surface right here. And so that part will be soldered uh, to the uh, copper. Mm -hmm. Fluxing my parts when, here. When it comes to soldering. Okay, there it is. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the vise and we'll heat it up. There it is before I clean it up. Soldering and initial cleaning. There's the uh, cylinder. It's just got some solder and stuff on it, but I just kind of cleaned it up a little bit. And my concern is I have enough solder in there uh, to drill the hole. And I think I do. If I get it just straight, I'll be good. And otherwise, I'll put it back together and have to solder it again. So I'm going to risk it. Drill the hole. And if it doesn't leak on either side, we'll call it. <laughs> Make sure to check out the comments section. As I'd mentioned before, this engine's for sale and you can buy it on eBay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Obviously, that's going to be rock solid. That's what we want. So, anyway. I'm gonna work on that, and I got just a, you can see, just a hair oversized there, if this fits in there pretty good. And I got just a hair oversized, and then I'm gonna polish that down uh, so it fits inside the cylinder perfectly. Okay, and here's the piston in the cylinder here. And I... Your comments and questions are greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.